Peace. This is a meat and potato source reproduction star on myself, the water alchemist, and I want to talk to you about enemy of the state. One of the things that is very important, even though you're a practicing magician or which is that you're still going to have to deal with the mundane or earthly needs and earthly distractions. This is imperative that you study trends because when people don't study trends, they become a casualty of the trend. So how do you study trends? Well, you have to remember that a lot of people that are doing the news outlet or even when it comes to sports and entertainment, they have a script that they have to read from. I can give you a prime example. Let's say sports shows, for instance, like First Take, Undisputed, Speak For Yourself, etc. Notice that they all do not deviate from the playbook. What's the playbook? We're going to talk about Tom Brady, LeBron, who is the greatest of all time, who isn't. And then you're going to sprinkle in a dash of the Dallas Cowboys and Philadelphia Sixers point guard Ben Simmons. That's an example. It's basically just redundant. Everyone's talking about the same thing. And even when you deal with the news, whether it be your local one, which was, which 9 out of 10 isn't affiliated with a bigger corporation like CBS or Fox. Fox are the masters of this because this is what they do. And this is also a form of lower magic. What ends up happening is that we'll take Sean Hannity. What he does is when he has guests on there, he belittles them and he use a good psychology ploy. What he basically does is that Every time you're going to make a great point, he interrupts you and he distracts you. And he, and he does this for the whole entire interview until he'll basically say, when he does let you speak, okay, well, we've run out of time. That's all we got. And basically, the person never really got to get into the crux of the information or argument. So they're very good at that. And then... And NSNBC, they're doing this as well as CNN. And so it's very important that you study this and it's not about left or right. It's not about partisan politics because both of these so-called parties are beholden to corporations and then lower magicians. Anyone who gets in there, they're going to always use the same tactic. They know if this person is the first person of color, Kamala Harris, or the first woman, etc. They know that the masses will bite the bait. Look at Secretary of Treasury Janet Yellen. Does anyone know anything about this woman's background? Oh, I do. She is with the National Security Council. And furthermore, she also worked for the Federal Reserve. So anybody that's the Secretary of Treasury, 9 out of 10, they came from the Federal Reserve or Goldman Sachs. So they're not going to help you. And now there's something. You have to be ready as the cultist for 2030 because that's the reset button. Now, what is the reset? The reset is that if you want a snap card, if you want to work your job, of course, you're going to have to get the jab. But it's more insidious than even that. You're going to have medical practitioners, nurses, LPNs, etc. They're going to be basically like going door to door. And they're going to be pressuring people to get vaccinated. And if, like I said, if you want those so-called benefits, such as health care, all that, they're going to do that. And you have to think, let's say you were born in the 70s, 60s or 70s. Time really ran out for a lot of people in the 90s because it's mighty funny that it takes really your firstborn child to get an apartment. An apartment was never this difficult to get in the 90s or the early 2000s. And they keep saying, well, we gotta go over your criminal record, understandable. But what about if you have a nonviolent felony? And then it's like, well, let's go over your credit score. 
And this is a question that I've always posed to people. How do you get out of debt with the acquisition of more debt? And remember, all the small businesses are dying a slow death. It used to be fun if you were a man or a woman to go to a boutique, to go to a small business because they had something unique that the other businesses did not have. And 2012 really was when the market really crashed, but they covered it up doing Saturnian rituals and low matching. And they knew that those people that were young, still were in the church, still were in the mosque, or just were young people. Now they know that these people are adults and they're waking up. So they're counting on this. They're counting on people removing themselves and practicing metaphysics and the occult. So the information that you're getting now was going to have to end up as a occultist and a practitioner, you're going to have to go underground again. And this can help you because we as the vanguard, we exist in the shadows. We are here, we're everywhere. We could be teachers, we could work for the post office, but secrecy is very paramount, especially for the Order of the Red Dragon. And so I'm using this as a segue for this. We don't discuss magic or rituals with civilians. We don't. I don't care if you sleep with them. We don't do that. You're a civilian. And we don't worry about humanity. That's one thing that gets us in trouble as human beings. If you can't save yourself and you're trying to help and save everyone, guess what? No one gets helped. No one makes it and recovers from drowning. So the order of the red dragon, we exist in secret, but we'll always be here. Some orders are being infiltrated. And this has happened in the case of the anthroposophical movement with Rudolf Steiner. And this also happened with Helena Blavatsky's movement. It got infiltrated. So if that comes for us, that problem will be resolved with extreme prejudice. So. If you're an occultist, please study trends. It will help you. And also with everything going on, they want the distractions to continue because you'll get frustrated and you'll put off your magical practices. And by you doing that, you won't find out your psychic ability and maximize it or take it to the next level. Whether you learn from touching, kinesthetic, or auditory from hearing, or visual learners. They'll always do something to keep you distracted. So, study trends, and you will be the most dynamic sorcerer you can be. So with that, that is your meat and potato sorcery for the day. I am the Water Alchemist. You water, my friends. Peace.